want y'all situated. Welcome back to my channel. No, I'm kidding. What's good? What's good? What's good? Hey, y'all. So, Happy New Year, everybody. This is going to be my first video of the new year. I have no idea what this video is going to be about. But I guess it could kind of be like an updated video um, or an update video about what I've been up to. Um, the past few weeks, I've been super busy with work, which is why I couldn't really make any videos. And I've actually kind of taken a little break from baking, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get ready to get back up started next month. So hopefully I can put some more baking videos on my channel because I thoroughly enjoy it okay um, i turned 30 last month so you know your girl don't know how to act of course and i don't know i was just sitting here thinking about the 30 years of my life you know so god is good that's all i'm gonna say okay um but hopefully you guys are well um i know a lot of things have happened um we have a new president now and you know things in the atmosphere are changing and um i'm just so excited for what god has in store for everybody for this year um not to say that we're still not going to deal with stuff because things are still there is a lot of uncertainty in the air still of course um but Ooh, excuse me but i i um wanted to catch you guys up with um so my stomach is feeling a lot better i know i made a lot of videos or not a lot of videos but i made some videos you know telling you guys i had some stomach issues that i feel like were triggered by anxiety and chronic stress so i've noticed that there are some lifestyle changes that i can do to try to um help that out so i've been trying to Make sure that I'm eating three times a day at proper times of the day, making sure that I'm drinking a lot of water. And I've also tried to um, add exercise into my regimen. Now, when I was younger, I don't know if y'all know, but I pretty much have been dancing on and off since I was about eight. So I've always had a very active childhood. I've always had a very, you know, um, active adolescence period time too. Um, so... As I got older and I kind of like didn't really dance full time, I started to kind of like be a little laxed with my workouts. Because if you think about it, like when you're not dancing, when you're not going to the gym, it's like, what are you doing, you know? And then I wasn't like eating the best and I'm still trying to get my eating habits back on track, like how they used to be when I was in grad school, because your girl was snatched, okay? Like, snatched, okay? But um, anyways. <laughs> I have just been really wanting to bake. I baked some cupcakes for Christmas. I made some red velvet cupcakes, which you guys have already seen on the episode of Keisha's Kitchen. And I've also made some Oreo cupcakes. So I do have some other new recipes that I do want to try. So of course I'm going to try to make a video or make an episode on Keisha's Kitchen so we can just bake through life together, you know? Um, I do have a lot. I have two more assignments to do for the month of February because if you don't know, which I'm sure you might or might not know, um, but I am a digital content creator. So I am a social media manager. I work for a marketing and event company. So we tend to do stuff, of course, a month in advance. So I really wanted to get, I have two more assignments that I need to do, which I'm going to get ready to do after I make this video. Um, and I want to get those done before the night is over with so I can just really have tomorrow off so I can just relax because I haven't really had an off day in a while if that makes sense and then probably Thursday and Friday I'm gonna probably get back to it because we have some we have a new we had a new meeting um, the business is growing the company is growing I'm super excited for my boss um, and the owner the uh, the owner of the company she's doing amazing things I need to work on my time management skills that has really been something that I've been struggling with the past two to three months I think it started like in November I've just been having a difficult time trying to focus and getting my um, just really managing my time properly anyways but with that being said um, moving on so like I said I had a birthday I turned 30 I feel like my mind tends to go all over the place. So thank you if you are caught up and understand exactly what I'm saying because sometimes I don't. Anyway, but I turned 30 
and I was me and my husband the other day we were sitting and just kind of talking about old times because my my husband is getting ready to turn 30 in May so I'm five months older than he is and like I said I already turned 30 and we met each other when we met I was 19 and he was 18 so we were sitting here talking about just like the stuff we used to do when we were dating and how life was back then and how we were just some young whippersnappers and we didn't really have a care in the world it was just so crazy but it made me think about like my mindset back then like i promise you y'all your mindset changes so much as you age and i just think about everything that i've done was my life perfect? No. Did I? Was it everything that I wanted it to be? No. But I don't regret anything. I really, like when I said I was going to do something, I did it. And I put my mind to it. I just can't believe that even at that young of an age, I was so like driven and ambitious. And I still am, of course. But just to like look back and just because when I was going through it, I just felt like, I don't know, I just felt like life was just so difficult. But I just wish I could tell my younger self, like, girl, you're doing good. You're actually doing better than you think you are. Because I just remember I don't really have many regrets uh, because I don't, in my opinion, I pretty much did the most that I could with what I had, you know. And anytime I said I wanted to like when I wanted to shave my hair off and I did I went from like long hair to like a pixie cut a lot of people were like what the crap but that was something that I, I, I had always wanted to do and I was so happy when I did it I've always wanted to get I don't know if y'all know this but I used to have my nose pierced um, back in the day that was something that I really wanted to do I took it out just because I felt like I was kind of outgrowing it and when I was 18, 18 or 19, I got my belly bump pierced and it was just a whole bunch of stuff that I just, I'm just like, wow, look at you. Of course I took it out because I, it just was not healing properly and I just felt like it was just, it was just beginning, it was getting in the way because I was a dancer and I had to like pull up tights and the ring would get caught on the tights and all that. But anyway, I say all that to say that I just love young Keisha and I just wish I would have been a lot easier on myself. I wish I wouldn't have stressed myself out as much because it's like, girl, you are not that off and you're doing better um, than you think you are. And God is just such a force, has been such a force in my life where there was a moment in my adolescence where I feel like I was running from God and I just was like, I'm just going to do my own thing and I'll just worry about God later. And I regret that though I do regret that but looking back now just to see where God has brought me and where I am now my relationship with God now is just like so different it's a lot more mature you know I'm, I'm more focused on what God thinks of me versus what my peers think of me and I don't know so I just want to encourage anybody who was kind of struggling with you know really their call um, you know, whether it be you feel like God is trying to call you somewhere, God is leading you somewhere, God is wanting to take you somewhere and you're scared or you're just, you know, not not really feeling like you're ready for it. I would say go ahead and surrender and just take the leap because you don't want to waste time and time, you know, this life is fleeting and I just really feel like we don't have as much time here on earth as we think we do and death does not discriminate it does not discriminate um by age gender race any of that when it's your time to go it's your time to go and you want to make sure that when you get up there and you're standing before god that you have done everything that he wants you to do now i'm not saying i'm perfect and i do everything right i don't i'm still a work in progress but i'm just here to share my story and just to share you know some of the stuff that I've been through um, it's just amazing you know how much God has just been in my life even when I didn't even want him in my life you know and I heard somebody say this God doesn't need us but he wants us I would never understand why God loves us the way that he does but I'm so grateful that even in the midst of everything even when we were sinners y'all he still chose us and he loves us and that alone would <laughs> make you shed a tear okay
I don't even really know what this video really is about. I just really wanted to get something out um, to y'all and just see how y'all are doing, check in virtually with everybody. Cause I know with the pandemic and just with the stress of life in general, we're all going through stuff. We're all fighting silent battles. I just feel like we all could use a sense of community and I just feel like nobody has it all figured out. You know what I'm saying? So this is kind of just like a virtual check-in. Just wanted to say hey, just to see how you guys are doing. Hopefully I can be back on YouTube a little bit more consistently. But like I said, when I get super busy with work, it's really hard for me to like find time to make YouTube videos. And I'm also trying to think of what content you guys want to see, what kind of content you know, I should put on my channel, like what direction I want to go with this channel. I do it for fun. I don't get paid or anything for this. It's strictly fun and really just for me to document where I was in that point in my life. And you just never know who might watch your videos and be inspired. You know, you just never know. So I do believe in being transparent, but of course not spilling too much tea, you know, because that's my business. But yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. Um, leave any comments that you guys have. If you guys need any prayer requests or need anything that I can help you with, just let me know. Leave it down below. You can email me. You can send me a DM on Instagram. Um, yeah, so I am just excited for life. I hope you guys are excited for life because God has big things in store for you as well. As long as you're breathing, you have purpose. I'm so hungry right now, y'all. I need to go eat something and... I will see y'all next time on my next video.